Welcome to my Amiga PSU guide transformation. You need these things. Get them. If you don't, oh, you don't need a soldier knife. Uh, but you can use it if you want uh, for a better connection. Okay, the first thing you need this uh, power supply. It's from eBay Recheap. Uh, as you can see, uh, these are the default Amiga thingies. Uh, and uh, yeah. Okay, we can see. Okay, we can see that this uh, RPT as well. Uh, suited for what we're gonna use for. Well, we need these things as well. Uh, these are for... You need to crimp these on the wires. Yeah, we want one of these things. Um, you can use other things, but this has got a wire cutter, a wire stripper. Okay, uh, you can see me, uh, pulling out the guts of this Amiga power supply. Um, yes, from UK, this one. You can see the, uh, power, uh, the plug. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is basically, basically just snip it off. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. No! I'm pretty bad at this. Okay, but whatever. Um, yeah. There, there, there you go. There you go. I snipped it off. Okay, so I don't need this cable anymore. Because I'm going to use a Japanese cable. Because I'm actually in Japan. That's why uh, I actually did this. Uh, because the... Uh, oh, oh. There you go. You just strip the thing. Okay. So basically the new power supply, you can use it in the US or the, um, or the UK. Uh, it's a switching power supply. That's why I did it. Okay, so I just stripped off uh, the end, and you can see here you got three cables coming out. Uh, one's ground, one's live, and one's neutral. Uh, check out the nets for which one's which in the country where you live in. Um, just snip it off. Okay, yep. Yeah, dude, what, what the heck am I doing? I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah. Just, just got it. Okay. Uh, so, in this video you can see I actually uh, tape away the uh, green one. You don't actually need it. Uh, the grounding one, but you can do, uh, you can use it if you want. Um, I'll point out later. What the heck am I doing? Oh, yeah, 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 I'm using, uh, insulation tape, so, um, I don't know, maybe it wasn't, I don't know, maybe some wire was showing or something, so I just, uh, sorry, uh, apologies, I, I did this video a while back, what the f oh, oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah, so I'm getting the switch ready, um, so, uh, Putting solder on one uh, one side of the switch, and I'm going to attach. Is that the neutral? Mm, what am I doing? Oh, my hands in the way. What the heck? Oh, okay. Ah, this is live, isn't it? Okay, so I attach the live end of the switch to. Uh, yeah, my power cable thing all right and yeah like a pro i'm gonna wrap it with insulation tape yay all right uh i'm snipping it from the base amiga power supply i guess and i'm gonna get the other side prepared as well okay mm -hmm. what am i doing oh yeah, uh, so this is... Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm putting the terminal pin uh, on the end of um, of the other side of the switch, I believe. Actually, on both sides. Uh, that'll be on the neutral side of the power supply and also the live end of the switch. I'm adding... Uh, what do you call them? Um, them thingy what do, you, what, do you, what do you call them? Terminal. Yeah. Yep, terminals. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, use a crimp for this. There's like two two pieces of, of the uh, um, terminal end pin thing to just basically crimp up. And then once you've done that, you can actually push it into the switch. Uh, what 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 the heck? Not switch. Uh, the connector end. Connector. That's the one. Yeah. So sort out the pins. Then you can push it into the connector. Yeah. Okay. Just, just, let's watch. Um. There we go. That's the connector. You can just uh, slide it in there. You gotta make sure you do it in the right, oh, like that. That that's that's how it should be, right? Yeah, that that's that's the the right way. Okay. Um. Show me. Uh, well, okay. So what I've got here is a plastic ruler that I got really cheap, and I'm gonna drill holes in it to make kind of like a base. I'm sure maybe nowadays you can use like 3D print printers or something to make your own base, uh, but I really don't care, I just wanted something um, to, yeah, act as a base, so it's not 
sitting in the bottom of the power, of the power supply box. Um, so I'm just gonna drill holes in it. And screw it in, using plastic, because it's uh, non-conductive, I think? I don't know. Wait, wait, whee! Yeah. You could actually use uh, anything for this. Just attach it to something. I don't know. Huh. I'm just trying to think. Like, um, I didn't actually put this in the requirements. Drill. <laughs> uh, or the screws. Crap. Never mind. I don't care. That's good. Huh. Ah, yeah. They're the screws I used. I'm in Japan, so... I don't know if you can get the right size. But they work fine. In, uh... What? what? Um, yeah. There you go. You fit there. And they'll fit through the uh, holes of the PSU, too. I'll actually cut the ruler to be just... The right size for the uh, for the brick, so it actually just uh, it fits tight in there just by pushing it in. There you go. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Something like that. Alright, so I'm back. Uh, so what we're gonna hear? Okay, we're taking off the uh, the wires, which are actually well, will be attached to the Amiga. Um, okay, so it's the Amiga side, the cable, and uh, yeah, we have many colors. I think I'll strip them, and uh, well, basically what we're gonna do is strip them and. Put the pins on the end so they can fit in the term, into the um, connector. It'll also fit into the power supply. Put the end on there, and then you crimp it. That's like a one here, and then I think there's like two places you, you can crimp it, I don't know. Thank you. 
Yep, they say one, two. One, two. Okay, so what I've done here is uh, I've taped back the yellow wire because I think that's the ground wire. You can actually use that if you wish. Um, it's actually on the next diagram here, you can see. Okay, so uh, pins 1 and 2 are for the 5 volt, 3 and 4 are for ground, and 5 is for 12 volts and 6 is for minus 12. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is wire up 1. Uh, pin 1 to the red, well, uh, yeah, pin 4 will be black, uh, pin 5 will be brown, and pin 6 will be white. If you need to use the ground, uh, you need to wrap it around one of these screw holes. So as you can see here, I'm just gonna, gonna throw these wires with the pin ends on them into the connector. And uh, once you've done this, you can just actually uh, pop it in there to make sure it's, it's in there nice and snug. Make sure there's no loose connections. There's actually one way uh, they fit into these connectors. Uh, yeah, it's one way you can fit in. Let's just see a little piece um, popping out when you do it. There you go, should be nice and snug now. Okay, if you want the grounding, there you go. That's where you uh, screw it in. Said it kind of fits in snugly there. We should be able to push in our other end too. The switch and the connector. Ah, <laughs> it's a bit I forgot about. Okay, um, you see at the very bottom there, um, you can. There's actually a hole. Uh, you can actually just wrap a few times around with some of this tape, or you can get a grommet. You'd be looking at one of the smallest fit fittings for it, smallest size for it. I wish I knew which way the uh, switch went. <laughs> See if there's a zero at the top or one at the bottom. I don't know. Whichever. Doesn't matter. Screw it back together. Oops. <laughs> And finally, let's see if it will work. Yay. Super. And we're done. If this guide helped you out, all I ask is for a single purchase from one of my cert, cert sh shites, sh shirt sites at T Public or Neato Shop. The public website has uh, yeah the cheaper prints, but Nito Shop has the better quality prints. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>